You know how last week I tried to convince Andrew to get pizza, but it epically failed? <laughs> We're ordering pizza! Ah! I say last week, but it was only yesterday for us. About a week for you. Ah, pizza! I was talking to getting pizza. I want pizza. I didn't want to pay for it. So it's kind of like... I'm getting something I want, but... At a... Thing I don't want it as. If I had free pizza, that'd be cool. But now I don't have to wait. It's in the quality check. We're getting it from Domino's, and there's like a progress bar thing. It was just in bake. It's in quality check. And Summer double checked your order at for perfe perfection at 2:55. Now I have to wait. And I'm I was watching Seven Days to Die Part Three from Achievement Hunter. But then we ordered the pizza, and now I'm just waiting to hit play again so I can eat it with watching that which it's I have to wait now that's that's the issue here that's the issue I was like so adamant about getting this pizza and it's good but Domino's is my favorite um, I literally had one piece and now I'm stuffed <laughs> like oops I did have like seven little pieces of this like boneless chicken thing that was really good but so I mean it's valid that I'm stuffed <laughs> but now I have like the whole rest of this pizza just for myself because we each got several pizzas because it was cheaper that way so I will be eating pizza for the next 50 meals. <laughs> Gotta be making that sweet tea, iced tea, sweet iced tea. What? I'm using the, uh, the electric kettle to boil the water so it's hot so I can make it and then put that sugar in it, I guess. I don't know, first time I made that. But also, my dinner, look at it in all its glory and a one step up, Joker mug. So, there you have it. My name is Clark Kent from the Daily Planet. I'm trying to find out what happened to an inmate. It's amazing how much more you want something when deep down you know you shouldn't have it. Um, I just went to Walmart to get some groceries because I was already there getting gas. And the strawberries there looked so good. And if you didn't know, I can't have strawberries because I'm allergic. Um, I only recently found out that I was allergic. So it's sad because I really like strawberries. But anyway, I went to Walmart and got some groceries and typical me, I forgot to film inside. Um, I just got things like pistachios and broccoli, tomatoes, grapefruit, applesauce, pickles, just kind of basic vegetable fruit type stuff. Um, and toilet paper, because we were out of toilet paper, fun fact. Domestic life. Um, I also picked up some Dunkin', because at my Dunkin', from, it's either 1 or 2 till 6 p.m., it's a medium iced coffee for only 99 cents, so it was totally worth it, so I just got coffee. Mm. So I have this weird obsession with perfume. Um, I've had it for as long as I can remember, um, like, back towards middle school ages, like, 10 years ago? I haven't been in middle school in 10 years. Oh, God. Anyway, I used to always use like body mists and stuff uh, when I was younger and a bit of high school. And then I started getting more into the perfume side because they're very different things, if you didn't know. Um, and probably around like senior year of high school, my best friend, who gets a lot of perfumes for free from her aunt, was like, gave me a bunch of her stuff like, here, have it, keep what you want, just throw out the rest. I was like, well, thank you. So I had so much perfume on my hands, but, and like, I like some of the scents, so I kept them, but it wasn't my kind of scent. Um, and it wasn't until recently where I was tired of scents that didn't feel like me or my personality, and I wanted to get something that I liked and that I could wear every single day and have like a signature scent. So I spent a day in Walmart because they have cheap perfume. Um, and they have some more like higher end brands too, which I was surprised. Um, and I smelled like 
all the perfumes. And the one perfume I landed on was Sultry from Flower, and that's Drew Barrymore's perfume line, or makeup line, I should say. I love this scent. This has been my signature scent for months now. Um, and it's so close to being empty, you can't really tell, but it's about down to here. There's like very little left. <laughs> Probably enough for another week, maybe two, if I push it. I love this perfume so much. It's such a me scent. Um, however, I just went back to Walmart today, like I said, um, to get some groceries and stuff, and I went to Walmart specifically because I wanted to pick up a new perfume. However, they stopped selling this scent. Ah! I don't know if Flower's just not making it anymore or what, but there were four other Flower scents. So I smelled those, and actually, they all smelled really nice. Like, Flower's perfume is great. I also feel like it lasts forever. Like. I sprayed myself with the perfume earlier today, probably around 10, and it's probably close to 3 right now, and it still smells so strong. I love it so much. Um, but since I didn't have this, I picked up a different one, and I decided to go with Sunshine, which is the yellow one, as opposed to the purple one I'm used to. It still smells really good. Um, like, I was torn between which flower scent to pick up, because they all were really nice. Um, but I ultimately went with Sunshine because I felt like it was the closest to Sultry. I like it. Um, I'm gonna have to get used to it though because it's not Sultry. I'm gonna keep looking around, like maybe online or something, and see if I can find it. I'm sure I can find it online. Um, I really like Sultry, but maybe I like Sunshine better. Who knows? I'll let you know eventually. Now, in the riveting life of me, it's laundry day. While I was out, I had one load in already. And then I have to do my sheets yet, um, my comforter quilt thing, I want to put that in separately, and at least one load of clothes. So that's three more loads. <sighs> Candle of the day is Mint Mocha Bark from Bath & Body Works Winter Collection 2015. Yeah. Add another load of laundry to that list of however many it is now, like five loads? Because I forgot I have to do towels today too. <laughs> five loads of laundry and eight freelance job applications later and I am officially exhausted. <laughs> Actually though, I'm not even done with laundry. Can you hear that rumbling? That's my last load in the dryer still, because they aren't dry. Oh, I'm so tired. It's like 11 p.m. and I just want to sleep. I'm constantly talking about love or singing about love. I know oh, all the God. songs. Oh, I'm so so that and annoying doesn't... sound like the same thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so Bertha doesn't have a girlfriend? No, he wants one real bad. Has he had a girlfriend? I don't think so. I... Thank you so much. Guys, welcome back. We're going to play a little game of two truths. Oh, oh god, I have two truths and a lie between Ma and I. I don't believe we've played this game, we've done riddles before. We have never played two truths and a lie before. We have done riddles twice. I've told you a lot, so I was very, very hard for me to come up with, uh, a little beer. Come up with some truths and lies for you. I spent all day watching the SourceFed live stream for the lead up to a million subscribers. I love that channel so much and I'm so freaking proud of them and I'm so sad to see Maud go. Like you have no idea. And oh my god, that kiss. My hair is insanely greasy right now so don't mind that. But I just straightened it a bit more because my hair naturally is insanely curly. Actually, looking at it in the camera, it's not that straight at all but it's a lot better than what it was. Um, I just straightened my hair because I'm going to dye my hair again. Yay! And it's so much easier to dye it and get it semi-even at the bottom uh, if it's straight because dyeing curly hair is a pain in the butt. So um, I'm re-dyeing my hair the same color, like mermaid blue-green color I did last time. I'll put a picture right here. Um, that's like the favorite color I've ever had. Um, and I still have a lot of the dye left over from the last time I dyed it, which was May 1st, I believe. And since then, my hair has gone this grossness. Um, it's like a weird sea foamy green up here, and the bottom is like, I don't know, I'd also describe that as sea foamy mint, 
but it's like so light it's almost like pure white right now so it looks gross and it's about time I redid it so I'm planning to do that now this is the color I'm using um, it's pure sapphire by splat FYI um, normally they have a little funnel that you use to get the stuff out with but I threw mine out on accident because I forgot um, so I'm just using the wide end so this could go very badly and I'm just using my fingers to paint instead of a brush. I have a brush, I just don't like it. Okay, let's get to dyeing. <laughs> I'm gonna take the gloves off. I'm gonna regret this. Oh my god, literally no blue. Okay, it's wrapped up. My hands are blue. I'm gonna set a timer for 40 minutes. I don't remember exactly how long I stand. I'm set up for 40, check it, and then I might put it in for another 20. Now I have to clean up. There's a huge glob of blue on my floor. Oh no! This is probably one of the messiest attempts I've done at dyeing my hair. Probably not the messiest, but one of them. Um, I didn't, I mean, obviously I got stuff on my hands, but not nearly as much as I was used to, especially towards the beginning of dyeing my hair myself. But my hair is currently in a towel right now, so it doesn't, like, slip out and dye my skin anymore. Um, and I realized one of the reasons why it was so difficult to do my hair this time was because normally I don't put um, aluminum foil underneath while I do my hair. Um, I normally put a towel <laughs> or I just do it directly onto my dyeing hair shirt. Um, so I had to be a bit more careful this time and it kind of fluffed up a bit. Um, there is a blue stain on the floor right now, but there's also a red stain from a while ago when either Andrew and I did my hair. I don't remember which. I don't remember which. Um, I'll try and scrub it a bit later um, with like cleaning soap and stuff because I just wiped it off right now and scrubbed it a bit with some water because I was more concerned about my hands. But at the moment, I don't even care about my hands because <laughs> I know when I get in the shower, it's gonna be a lot more scrubbing. Okay, it's been 50 minutes that I've had the dye in, it's all wrapped up in here. Um, I'm going to, skillfully as possible, get in the shower without getting any more dye on me and probably staying in there for a very long time until um, the water stops running blue and then I could wash it and condition it to then have it stop running blue again. Just before I brush my hair, and put it up in my braid for the night. I thought I'd show you what it looks like while it's wet. Uh, it's definitely gonna have the green up here, blue down here effect. Um, I'm super set excited to see how it'll turn out though. <laughs> I don't know how nice it will be because I was really winging it this time, but it'll be good enough to last a, couple, a little while at least. <laughs> it's time to show you my hair. Da, 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 da. I like it. It's cute. It's my mermaid hair. My mermaid hair is back. <laughs> I think it didn't turn out as nice as it did last time I did this color. This isn't as good of a gradient, but actually it looks better on camera, I think. This looks a lot lighter. Like, the whole thing looks a lot lighter on camera. It's quite dark in person. Um, and the gradient looks better. But, like, it's, like, greener up here, more blue than, like, a purpley down here. I like it. Now I'm gonna go eat some Chinese. Me trying to be a responsible adult, adult, and a uh, college student is more accurate. Me trying to be a responsible college student, I went to the uh, the school's like student office, not student office, but like some sort of financial office or something, so I could re get a loan. That I had last year, I got it for this year. I went yesterday, door was locked. Went today, door was locked. I'm gonna try today, Saturday. I'm gonna skip Sunday because if it's not open Saturday, it's not gonna be open Sunday. I'm gonna try again Monday and hope I can get 
the loan I need. I don't know. Hopefully. I'm tired. I just got out of work. Off to Walmart. It is Sunday. The day before, classes start at our college. Me and Kelly's college. Monday morning. Monday morning classes. Morning as in fucking 8 in the morning. That's when my classes are. I'm not excited about that. No, no, no. Getting out of the car. It's not what I'm looking forward to. I'm not really happy about it, but you know, whatever. I'm going last minute school shopping. Getting some folders. And so I forgot my wallet. Can't forget that. Nope, can't forget that. It's actually really important. I always keep my wallet in the console of my car and not in my wallet, not in my pocket. And that's my issue because I always forget it. Almost always, not always, but whatever. We're currently in the middle of a thunderstorm, which is normal here, but it sucks because I wanted to get a shower because I have classes tomorrow because classes officially start tomorrow. Can you even hear that? Anyway, I thought I'd give you guys a quick update on how my blanket is turning out. Um, I have been really knitting as much recently, but I've gotten back into it the last two days. Um, and the squares are starting to come together quite a lot. So basically I laid out the squares um, just so I can see how big the blanket is gonna be um, and roughly where they're gonna be laid out. I'll still probably move everything around, uh, mainly because I think I'm gonna end up getting another color into this blanket. Um, I'm not positive, but either way, I will have to pick up more yarn because I probably have enough yarn for maybe... Jeez. Um, three, maybe four more squares. Um, so I definitely need more yarn, whether it's the colors I already have or a different color completely. So anyway, this is what it currently looks like. I'm super proud of it and I can't wait to finish it and move on to more blankets. Ah! It happens quite often, but there's always a storm and really loud lightning. And th well, the lightning's not loud, but the thunder is loud. It fucking, like five minutes ago, it hit like maybe a hundred yards from my house. That was fucking, that shook the house. That was crazy. I just gotta wait. Wait and maybe we'll hear something. I mean, well, that's something. Can you hear it? I don't know. It's loud though. Christ. Power better not go out. It went out a few days ago. I don't want it to happen again. I need to get up early. Good thing my alarm is my phone. So as long as it's a decent charge, I'll be able to wake up. So that's fine. I just need power in the morning. I need power now. I was gonna get a shower tonight. That's not happening. I'll see if I can get, I'll wake up early and see if I can get one in the morning. Hopefully, I'll have power. Because I need a shower. But dude, rain's getting louder too. Mm -hmm. 